How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Flesh and Blood video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, we are going to be opening and reviewing these brand new Flesh and Blood Uprising Blitz Starter decks featuring Dromai and Fi. If you are curious about what I think regarding the previous seven Flesh and Blood Blitz Starter decks, definitely check out the description down below. I do have videos going over all of them already, and I'll save you a little bit of time here. I think they are fantastic. I think the previous seven Blitz starter decks are some of the best ways to get into Flesh and Blood. In fact, at only $12, they provide a very, very low barrier of entry, so you and a friend can learn how to play the game. So let's open up these two starter decks and see if they share a similar pedigree. How good are they? I do know they are $12 MSRP, but just kind of what comes inside these and are they gonna be worth it for you as a new player? All right, so here we go. Before we open these up, let's actually take a look at the box and packaging just to kind of see what we're getting into here. Draconic Illusionist. Craft your own reality with Aether and Ash, then command your horde of Ash Wings to set the arena ablaze ready to play out of the box, which it is. Um, yeah, that's that. That is the Dromai Blitz deck. Really like Dromai. She's an awesome character. Look, she's playing Go too. You got, you gotta love a lady who likes to play board games. Also, we have Fi here, who also looks really, really cool. Draconic Ninja, embody the fury of the rebellion. Sequence your chain links to unleash the powerful Draconic talent, ready to play out of the box. And of course we have uh, Fi here with art done by friend of the channel, Sam Yang, absolutely fantastic artwork. Um, so yeah, let's, let's take a look at uh, the decks. We're gonna take a look at all of the cards that come inside and I'm gonna give you my opinions on whether or not I think they are worth it for you as a new player. And we're not really gonna talk about existing players here because I think if you're an exi existing player, you kind of already know the deal here that these aren't really gonna have a lot of that um, financial value in terms of big spendy cards, nor are they going to have a lot of uh, tournament staples. These are for new players to learn the game, and I think that's what they excel at. So let's kind of take this out here. Um, there we have the, the Phi box, and here we have the Phi deck with a rainbow foil young Phi. So this is actually something that an established player might want to get just to have the uh, rainbow foil version of this hero, which is, you know, I think that's something to be said. If you just want to uh, support the game, buy a single Blitz deck just so you can have the rainbow foil version of the hero, I think that is great. And look look at the, the art there. Here's the, uh, the foiling and the art. Looks fantastic. And then we have the, uh, the card back. So uh, let's kind of take a look at what else comes in here. We're not gonna go over the cards um, individually, but I do at least want to um, talk about them a little bit. I think Fi is a, a pretty easy hero to play. He, he, he really leans into aggro and go wide strategies. So if you are a player who likes to play aggro decks in the other card games that you play, I think Fi is a great option. And also just look how awesome he looks for the adult version. I love like this full art version here. Uh, so here we have a how to play card. Uh, Phi is an aggro synergy deck. Sequence your chain links to unleash the draconic talent. Use in flame, flame call awakening, or rise from the ashes to assemble the Phoenix Rebellion. Then rise up to overthrow the oppo opposition. Difficulty, two out of five stars. This is kind of new. I, I dig this. It's kind of just a little uh, tip card uh, on the back of this, which I think is actually very cool. So I dig that. Here we have a uh, Phoenix Flame. Uh, this is a card that uh, comes as the token rarity in booster packs, and uh, it really synergizes with Phi himself because he lets you get these back from your graveyard if you have, um, well, it costs three resources, but that that's cost is reduced by the number of Draconic Chain Links that you have. So this is an integral card to the deck. Here we also have his signature weapon, the Searing Ember Blade. Um, it should be noted, this is a good place to get a version of this card that does not have um, something on the back, it just has the card back. So if you just want the Searing Ember Blade with the, the card back here, there you go. 
We have Hope Merchant's Hood. This is a reprint from the very first set. It's a decent card. We have the Sash of Sandakai, a new card from Uprising. Uh, just a decent card that lets you gain some resources at instant speed. We have Heat Wave, a beautiful new Draconic Ninja equipment from Uprising. Very, very cool new card. We also have the Quelling Slippers. I think this is a pretty, I think this is a pretty good loadout here. You know, nothing super fancy here, but these are good cards. Like these are all cards that I would consider running in like a commoner version of this deck, which is a format where you play only common cards. So like this deck, for example, could be used to do that. If you took out the rares, like this Rise Up, this Rise Up is a rare. So we do have a, a play set of them. Oh, here's the other Phoenix Flame. Good, good, good. I was actually wondering if we'd get two. So in any uh, Flesh and Blood deck for Blitz, you can have two of any card. So getting two is, uh, is good. Definitely want to get those two. So we have uh, two Rise Up here. Uh, here's another rare. We have uh, Rise from the Ashes. Uh, just, just one of those ones though. Uh, two Blaze Headlong. We have an In Flame. We got two In Flames. Uh, flame Call Awakening. These all synergize with those Phoenix Flames. Flameborn Retribution. Stoke the Flames. Lava Vein Loyalty. And uh, you can just take a look at how absolutely fantastic the art looks here. We have some Cinderskin Devotions, a couple Rebellious Rushes. These are all kind of basic cards, but they, they, they get the job done. Dust Runner Outlaw, the Ronin Renegade, really like the art in this card here. Brand with Cinderclaw, Trade In, interesting. Um, I can definitely see these are gonna be some cards you wanna take out uh, to upgrade the deck with because you want a lot of Draconic cards, uh, especially Draconic cards with Go Again. So we have some Trade Ins. Um, we have a flex, this is a rare card. And then we have some higher pitch cards. We have a blue Ronin Renegade, Renegade a couple of those. Uh, two blue Dust Runner Outlaws, two blue Lava Vein Loyalties, two blue Cinder Skin Devotions, and two blue Wounding Blows, which is kind of funny. This is another uh, reprint card with uh, um, flavor text for uh, Uprising, which is uh, pretty cool actually. So. Overall, I would say that this is a, it's a very red focused deck. You can see a lot of red cards here, right? Um, so it's gonna be a very lean aggro deck. And honestly, just looking at the cards, there's a lot of simple cards here, but I think that's what you want here, right? You just want these simple cards so you can learn how to play cards like this Ronin Renegade, right? It's a zero uh, that attacks for three and has go again. And you also have this brand with Cinderclaw, which is a zero attacks for three with go again, but it also has an effect. So if you have to choose, you know, uh, which card am I gonna block with here? You know, okay, I'll block with the one that doesn't have the additional effect. And so I can play the one that has that additional effect. So I think that's just a really good teaching tool for uh, Flesh and Blood, having cards like that, so you can kind of understand which cards you want to block with and which cards you want to hold back to actually play. Like I said, there's not a ton of value and rares here. There's a, there's a you know handful of rares, but there's nothing higher than that. There's no Majestics or anything of that nature. And there's also no um, Mentors, like we're in the Monarch decks. This is just a, um, a Blitz starter deck containing cards that you could get in booster packs. Well, with the exception of something like this fancy foil Phi. So with that said, let's take a look at the Dromai deck. All right, let's open up this deck. I think both of these heroes are very interesting and um, you know, I, I really like them as characters. They are in the lore, they are siblings kind of fighting over the nation of Volkor, you know, fighting for supremacy and the throne, which is, um, you know, it's a, it's a fun story. Here we have our rainbow foil Dromai. She looks awesome, as well as uh, the Dromai here. Uh, that is not where that art card was in the, uh, in the previous deck, but uh, let's kind of pull that one to the, to the forefront here. Discover the Dragons of Legend. And then it has the Dromai Ash artist here. Here we have uh, the, the Rainbow Foil Dromai. She looks absolutely fantastic. I'm definitely gonna be using that in a good number of decks because I really wanna build Dromai. Here we have some Ash tokens. Ooh, interesting, okay. Let's take a look at these tokens before we get into this equipment. So uh, I was wondering, so this one didn't have the tip on the back. This one was just talking about the Dragons of Legend and the website fabtcg.com. 
which is the official Flesh and Blood website, but it didn't have the tip card on the back. This one does have the tip card. So how to play. Dromai is a combo control deck. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, bide your time building up Ash while you defend heavily. Rake the Embers plus Silken Form plus Red Hot paid for by Deep Blue is your key combo. Amass a horde of Ash Wings to hit Rupture and set the arena ablaze. Difficulty four and a half stars. Here are the Ash Tokens and then here we have the Aether Ash Wings and they are both double sided. So yeah, let's get that stuff out of the way. Take another look at Dromai there because it looks fantastic. And let's take looking at the deck. So here we have the Storm of Sanakai, uh, Dromai's signature weapon. It gives all of your dragons um, the ability to attack, which you, which you kind of need. We have an Ironhide Helm. This is a reprint. Uh, blocks for two if you're able to uh, pitch a resource for it or pay a resource for it. So it's not too bad. We also have a Deep Blue. Uh, this is just a great resource generating card because um, you're probably going to be running a lot of reds in this deck if I had to guess. So this being able to generate three resources is really good. We have Silken Form. I think this card is fantastic. This is the Draconic Illusionist um, arm equipment and uh, you can use it to quell to prevent some damage but you can also use it to transform an ash into an Aether Ashwing so you can get your little, little dragons. And then here we have another Ironhide piece which is good for blocking. Uh, we have two Red Hots. So this is one of the cards that it talked about for that combo with amazing artwork here. So we have two of those. And now we have some cards. Did, did the Fi deck have Lava Burst in it? In any case, we have Lava Burst. You can run this in either deck, but uh, this is one of the cards that it talked about. You want to string together a lot of um, attacks and then do a big old Lava Burst. We also have Rake the Embers, an absolutely fantastic card for Dromai. Bellowing Mirage, another really, really good one. Skittering Sands. Uh, dust Up, or as, as I like to call it, Dubstep. We got some Dubstep. We have Dune Breaker Senpai, or as I like to call it, Dune Breaker Senpai. Notice me, Dune Breaker. <laughs> uh, hey, look, we have Notice Me Ember Ma as well. We have the Ember Ma Senpai. Great cards. Um, sweeping Blow. Now we have some blue sweeping blows. Ooh, Spears of Surreality, one of my favorite cards. Love this card. It's a one for five with Gogan with Phantasm. Uh, just a great aggressive card. We have some Enigma Chimeras. Ooh, some Ravenous Rebels. This is another uh, another reprint here. This, this deck has a lot more reprints than the Fi deck, I think. Um, Wounding Blow, except this one is red instead of the blue one that was in the Fi deck. We have Critical Strike, which is very similar to Wounding Blow. Um, it is unremarkable, but it blocks for three, attacks for five. It's a good card to learn with. Uh, same with the Brutal Assault. It's kind of like a, a cycle here, I noticed. So we have a, a zero for four, a one for five, and a two for six. So um, yeah, those are interesting. We also have a couple Healing Bombs, a couple Sigil of Solace, a couple Oasis Respite, and some sync belows, which is actually very interesting that these have this uh, starter deck um, watermark here, which does not appear on other copies of sync below. So this is actually a, a unique version of this card. Very interesting, very interesting. And as you can tell, all of these cards here are just very, very defensive cards. So you kind of want these cards to you know, use as defense, gain some life while you um, while you kind of you know enact your strategy, I really do like that they included this little um, this tip card here that kind of tells you what you want to be doing because otherwise I think this deck will be a little a little uh, complicated to parse, but it's not because you have the how to play here. You kind of know what the game plan is, you know what to do. So if this is your first time and you're like, hey, I want to play the more controlling deck, well then you can play with this one. And if you're like, no, I just wanna smash face, then you're like, oh, I'm gonna play with the Fi deck. Both of these decks look very playable um, and they look like, you know, like they're, they'd are they be a lot of fun. I think these decks are great options and they're probably very good companion pieces to learn how to play Flesh and Blood. Because when you sit down and you play, one player can be like, okay, I'll test out the more controlling strategy here and then the other player will get to play with uh, Phi, and then you can kind of swap to see what kind of general archetype that you are into. So I would recommend these, especially 
for $12, um, you get a card that will last you for a while. This foil Phi and foil Dromai are gonna be cards that you're just going to play with a lot. And basically, anytime you play Dromai, if it's uh, in Blitz, you're gonna want this young version. Or if you play in the multiplayer format, Ultimate Pit Fight, you're gonna want this version because this is the version that you play in Ultimate Pit Fight. There's also a couple of just um, somewhat unique cards in here, like that, uh, like the uh, the the sink below with the watermark. That's, that's pretty unique. Uh, but yeah, um, I think I would highly recommend these. How do I think these stack up compared to the other decks? I think they're all pretty close, to be honest. I think the Tales of Aria ones are a little bit more complicated and that's just because of the mechanic that surrounds Tales of Aria, the fuse mechanic. But uh, I think these ones are great to start. I think the Phi deck is going to be very easy to learn how to play in Pilot. But if you want something more chunky and grindy, you can go with Dromai. Um, I really like how you have the option to, you know, pick what kind of style you want to go with. So yeah, I do recommend these. I think they're great. If you are new to Flesh and Blood, well, first of all, welcome to the game. And second of all, I would recommend these. Any of the other Blitz starter decks, you have the Monarch ones as well as the Tales of Aria ones. I do recommend these ones more than the other ones just because Uprising is the latest set. And so it's gonna be the easiest to um, you know, acquire upgrades for. But I do recommend the other ones as well, as well as the Classic Battles, Reinar versus Dorinthia box set. It's a little bit more expensive than these, but these are only $12 each. That box set runs around 40 ish dollars but it comes with two decks and some fancier cards in any case thank you so much for watching i hope you stick around and join our community and we will see you next time